From Paul Robinson's bad boy antics to Susan and Carl's big bust up, our next guests have been there for some of Ramsey Street's most iconic moments. But now, Neighbours legends Toadie and Mel Melanie are in the midst of their own dramatic storyline as they struggle to keep their office romance a secret. But well, just before they tell us more about that, we couldn't resist taking a bit of a trip down memory lane. You've met Mike? Mike, this is Melanie. Hi. It's what's on the giveaway board today. Three caramel slice with every hot drink. Sounds great. If the dress is here, then where on earth is Melanie? <laughs> you are a fantastic guy. And I'm sure you'll find the right girl. Jesus, me. Yeah, well, we're not going through with this. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Tony, come on. This is our wedding. Come on. Not anymore. Would you do me the honour of being my wife? Here they are now, Mr. and Mrs. Rebecca. Of course, I'll marry you, you great big dummy. Wow. Uh, Ryan Maloney and Lucinda Cowden are joining us from Australia. Morning. Well, how very lovely to talk to you. Thank you for, uh, for seeing, uh, the, the finding the time to talk to us today, guys, because this is, um, it's a big old storyline going on. We'll come to that in just a moment, because uh, as far as you were concerned, Ryan, were you 15 when you started doing this? Yeah, 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 I was um, 15, 20, 16. So school was across the road? Yes, yeah, yeah. School was across the road, and I actually, um, I used to just use neighbours as an excuse to get out of doing the schoolwork. <laughs> so I just say to my teachers, "Oh, sorry, guys, I've got to go to work." <laughs> that is a very good excuse, actually. And the thing is about him. I mean, he's so well loved on, on there, but he's really changed. I mean, you think about who he was when he first came in, and then who he is now. He's a completely different person. Oh, oh that's a sexy bloke right there. He's. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's one hell one hell of a you know um, a set of hair that's for sure. But I was just watching your little your, your little VT, and to be honest, you know, I thought um you know I feel sorry for Lucy because you know if the characters really do work out well, it's clear that um, Melanie is going to die. So. No, yeah, I know it's not looking good, is it? <laughs> well, I tell you, we do miss the mullet. We miss the mullet though. Well, I think you might be the only one because I don't. <laughs> Neither does my wife. <laughs> and, uh, and Lucinda, for you, um, I mean, you, you at first, I think you were in there in 1987, yeah, which the I think you know. So a lot of people say was the golden age of uh, of Neighbours. Wow. Um, Har Harold Bishop tried to teach you to sing. <laughs> Many of those great oh. moments that you were uh, that you lived through. Yeah, yeah, and I think that there was some tap dancing that happened, some cake competitions where I cooked a pig cake. They were they were heady days, what can we say? They really were. I mean, they were the days that I was coming back from school and putting neighbours on. Like, I remember it well so much, and your character was one of my absolute favourites. I was introducing it. You were introducing it, the telly you were. <laughs> but then we had to say goodbye to you for such a long time, and you came back, and I think, was it 30 years away? It was. I can't um, believe yeah, it. it. It was, I think I left at the end of 91 or the beginning of 92, around that time. Um, but, yeah, and I started in 87 as a guest and then weaseled my way back in. So, <laughs> and, and I suppose pande the pandemic, um, uh, the, the fact that there was a lockdown, I mean, you've done a lot of theatre, but there's obviously none of that. Um, so was that part of the reason that you thought, actually, no, I will take this offer up, I will go back? <laughs> what, that I was desperate? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no, uh, look, it was just the timing was magical. It was so perfect. So many things that I was involved with and, you know, were doing just turned into nothing. And then this came along... And, look, she's such a lovely, light, bright character. She's such a joy to put on and to be. You forget all of those things. Yeah. Um, well, the one thing we was... can't forget is her laugh, actually, because that's still no. as distinctive now as it was back then. And I think we should just remind ourselves of what she sounds like when she laughs. Oh, what an easy number to remember. Double two, double three, double eight. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't stalking. I called you. 
<laughs> does it hurt? Does that, that's not your real laugh, is it? <laughs> no, no, of course it isn't. Thank goodness. Um, no, it's um, it. I've added a little snort in there because I've noticed as I've got older that I I snort a bit these days. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. No, I kind of joy. It's, it's that maybe beautiful. Mel, could, as way. she's got older, she's developed her laugh a little bit, and there's an added little, little piggy snort in there. Well, it, it needed it. something. It wasn't enough before. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Ryan, obviously, let's talk about the storyline now. Um, and so these two. I mean, there's this relationship, the first date didn't go that well. And I think most people would say on paper, you wouldn't necessarily put them together. So when the first date didn't work out, that wasn't that much of a surprise. However, working together, something's sort of rumbling there and they have found quite an affection for one another. Yeah, I think they've uh, kind of found solace in um, in that they're not matched or they're not meant to be together. So I think, you know, they're just kind of, just kind of enjoying their time together um, and just running with it. Um, and then, you know, along the way, uh, they uh, might discover they actually do have feelings for each other. Well, you wouldn't necessarily match them on paper, although I know that they were matched originally on the dating site, um, but uh, not all the details there were correct and true. Uh, but, but would you have put them together? <laughs> <laughs> there are people out there lying about their age on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Would you would you put them together, Ryan? <sighs> um, look, I, I I wouldn't actually. I wouldn't put them together. But I think that's probably you know why this relationship is actually so good is because it's it's almost kind of like uh, opposites attract in a way, um, and that y you do find like this kind of common ground, and you know people do you know people do find you know, um, matches in the most unlikely places. So, you know, I think that's probably why it's so nice and, and that's why I'm really enjoying it too. It's just, well, we, you know, you kind of get to... We've got a clip actually. In, in, uh, yeah. Because, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, they are hiding it and, um, and they are uh, on the brink constantly of getting rumbled, uh, which uh, is what could happen here. You do things to me that are inappropriate in the workplace. We're in the workplace now, so, you know, we can do what we like. Yes, we can. Oh, peak hour at the Rebecca's. Sorry. You promised we'd be alone. Well, I thought we were going to be. Hello, you in there? Hi. Hi. Oh, is Hello here? Uh, no, just me. Oh, you don't know where she is, do you? Uh, she's looking for a Brent with uh, David and Aaron. Oh, OK. Well, can you get her to give me a call when she does get back? Yeah, we'll do. You working from home? Because you look like you just rolled out of bed. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are so going to get rumbled, aren't they, soon? <laughs> yeah. So busted. So busted. <laughs> um, well, they can't keep each other. They can't keep their hands off each other. No, That's the problem. Absolutely. And this is what we love. I mean, we, uh, in all of uh, our favourite continuing dramas, there is always a disaster around the corner somewhere down the line. <laughs> but at least they might, hopefully they'll get together and have a little bit of happiness. Um, so, uh, are you uh, are you still keeping your bees, Ryan? Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I've, I've uh, been in such a rush. I've actually still got. I'm, I'm still wearing my bee attire. Um, <laughs> so, yes, I am still keeping the bees. Busy um, as a bee. And what about, so what about you? Um, uh, are you going to consider, Lucinda, going back to the theatre now they're beginning to open or is it concentrating on neighbours now? Ah, oh, you know, I'll just go wherever anyone offers me work. <laughs> 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 <Pretty fun. laughs> and that's an honest answer. It really is, it really is. Thank you, guys. Oh, it's so lovely to have you on here today. Um, Neighbours, as we know, weekdays, 1.45 and again at 5.30 on Channel 5. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, Cheers, guys. guys. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Oh, Bye now. All right.